Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Tamanna. Hope you're fine. Guys, today we're going to make a very special, tasty and unique recipe. It is called uh, Sabudana Paratas. So these are the ingredients we need. We have sabudana and potatoes and salt. You guys can see? Now my mother is adding uh, pudina inside the sabudana mint and then she's going to add some uh, chili and after that she's going to add cumin seeds inside of it and then my mom is going to add some salt a little bit of salt and then guys now we're going to add the yogurt and now we're going to add the potato so guys let's add it one thing you must know is that uh, you can add in this paratha sobudana paratha anything you any vegetables you find at home because you don't have a particular vegetable in it you can add any you find at home so it's quite easy to make so let's mix it up so guys, you can see how the mixture is turning out. It's turning out really pretty. The color is really pretty. So we're almost done mixing it. We're going to have to like mix it perfectly. You don't want to see a single white part. Going to mix it well. You're going to have to mix it well so it's perfect. We added a lot of chili because I like chili and my entire family likes chili. So we added chili, green chili. You guys can see there are green chili and a little bit of red chili. So guys, now we are finally starting to bake it. So we're going to put some oil. You guys can use oil, but uh, we used ghee instead. So yeah, you guys can see my mom using ghee. We have melted the ghee and now we're using the ghee. And then we're going to make small circles of it and then make it like a chapati. Now we're going to make our sobudana chapati. So you guys can see my mom is making the circle right now. So you guys can see my mom on her hand put dry floor right now. You guys can put dry floor also and you guys can use oil also or ghee. It depends upon you. So my mom right now is using oil before she used ghee. But now she's using oil. So we showed you both the ways. And she's using her hand to make it. You guys can see it's uh, not that perfect circle but it's at least pretty. And we're expecting uh, it taste as good. So yep, you guys can see. So guys, these sobudana paratas, you can have with tea also. You can have with any sauce or ketchup also. It depends upon you. Guys, you can also have it as a snack or you can also give it to your children to school. Uh, they would really enjoy it like me and my sis do. So, yep. So, we are like flattening it even more so it becomes a little more bigger. You guys can see how we're doing it. And now, we are going to put the oil in our pan. Ghee. Uh, we're using ghee this time also. Like turning the spoon because the ghee is freezed and now we're going to put our uh, sobudana paratha onto our pan and let it fry okay guys now we have put it on our pan and we're gonna let it fry so it's gonna fry and it's going to be getting a color like this get a darker color but you know first slowly slowly it will get the dark color okay guys let's flip it this color is what we want for the sobudana paratha that's how we know that our paratha is nearly finished and it will taste amazing so guys you guys can see we can see chili green chili also there Guys, it's almost finished. It's almost getting ready. It's got a really pretty brown color. 
guys just make sure it doesn't get overcooked because overcooked does not taste very nice it won't taste good at all you it should be perfect cooked, not way too much cooked and not cooked at all so you need to take care of that and look it's almost ready and we put it on a plate and now we're making the another one and I, we're gonna put it on our pan as you can see and we're gonna let this one fry also like the same one as we did but this time we're gonna put oil on it that the first one was the one in which we used flour this one we're going to use oil in it this one is oiled and the other one the before one was the one with the flour so we're gonna let it fry and it's going to cook well and good you guys can see the little bubbles coming out of the sides it's getting fried well let's flip it and see how it is well uh not cooked that well but yes it's okay it's perfect when i let it even more cook you guys can see how it's gone it's been perfect see backside also amazing cooked well okay guys now let's put it on our plate and make another one so guys now my mom has made another one she's using her hand in this like we use in normal chapatis right now let's put it on our pan then it's going to fry and it's going to be good frying well this one also we used oil we showed you both the ways it depends upon you now which way you want okay guys now let's put it on a plate these are our sobodana paratas they look amazing and we got sauce with us also and we are putting in our plate and it looks perfect oh it looks so good so guys if you like today's video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye thank you